All right, welcome back everybody to more Sly Raccoon. Now we're gonna, well, hear what Bentley has to say. I figured out a way to get us to Haiti. To Haiti, because we are gonna head to the next world. Let's -a go. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Ooh, baby. Sly Cooper in Vicious Voodoo. Oh yeah. Alright. Out of all the worlds in this game, I'd say this one is my second to least favorite, because the least favorite is definitely the last world, because well, we'll get there. It's not that I don't like this world, it's Sorry, just Sly, a little but annoying. This is one mission you will have to accomplish without me. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Raccoon Railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right. A new move. Wahoo, yeah. It's pretty cool, wouldn't you say? We're like a skater grand pipe. <laughs> hey, son, are you a skater? I hear you love to grind pipe. Uh, <laughs> I used to skate when I was younger. I wasn't good at it, but... I used to skate. I was pretty shit at skating. Everybody wanted to be a skater for a while. That was like the trend in my school for a little while. There was always cool trends that popped up every once in a while. Like, uh, well, mostly when we were young kids, like Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and, uh, well, just a bunch of stuff that you could waste your money on and collect. I still have all that shit. Even, uh, Drago. Like, these little, like, I don't know, plastic little stone guys. They were called Drago something. Uh, at least here they're called Drago something. Um, I think I still have all of them. They're probably not worth much. Ah! Wow, well, we won't lose anything out of that, thankfully. Because we have the, the move, so we don't lose anything in the water. How nice. Alright. I guess, I mean, I, I did enjoy collecting like cars and all that back when I was a kid. Now I've replaced that with collecting video games and movies. That's Miss Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of the tiki pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bad mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. 
You've got to get past those voodoo guards. And I'm warning you, they're made and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. So do we, buddy. Alright, these guys aren't too much trouble. Just gotta watch out for their spotlights. Not much else to it, really. There's actually a surprisingly high amount of them. Walking around. Whoop, whoop. Boom, boom, boom. Go. There's one more left. That's all of them. So we are uh, good. We are good to go. Because it's a good show. <laughs> keep saying. You've done it! The Lojo Force Field is down, and you can steal the key! Well, I'm not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna head to the vault. Let's see what fantastic ability they're gonna Press give the us. Circle to enter the vault code. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. 588. Let's see if you are right. Oh, shocking, Bentley was right. <laughs> I can't believe it. Electrified! Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. Plus, it should give you a nice tingling sensation. <laughs> Alright. That's good, <laughs> I suppose. So yeah, now we can... Uh... Oh, we can roll, and we have a an electric ball thing. We can attack enemies with it, I think. Which is pretty cool, I guess. Although it don't, doesn't really protect you from, you know, bullets or projectile attacks. But whatever. All right, let's head into Ms. Ruby's lair or her swamp something or other. The dark center of the swamp. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Well, all right. One thing I will give this world massive credit for, I really love the music. It's very, very good. Wake up, you lazy bags of swamp gas! The voodoo vibe is sick tonight! Let's take advantage of this powerful mojo and step up production! Keep piling those shiny bones into the sink! We'll have an army of ghosts by morning and take over Mexico by the end of the week! Hear that, voodoo children? Yeah. <laughs> Not all that good voice acting. That's something that this series has What's a bit of reputation for. What's this strength voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Yeah, yeah what I was going to say is this series maybe has a bit of a reputation for... Um, um, a bit strange voice acting. Uh, it's not perfect all the time. For the most part, it's pretty good, but uh, there will occasionally be a voice actor, like the voice actors from Miss Ruby, that's a little bit, um, a little bit off. If you catch my drift. Although, I'm not really trying to say anything, I'm just saying she's a little bit, uh, well, not that. Great. That's fine, you know. I mean, she's she's got her own thing going on. I don't even know what her name is. Who did voice for Miss Ruby? 
I hope it's a she. It'd be kind of weird if it was a he, because... Well, I don't know. Not that there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, <laughs> and although, it isn't really a common thing for men to... I mean, uh, women to talk for men characters. Men's characters. should word it like that. It is quite common for <laughs> male actors to talk for female characters. Like, uh, the guy who talks for the mom on, uh, Bob's Burgers. That's a dude. I don't really watch that show. I've only seen the occasional episode. It's, it's a decent show. I haven't given it a proper go, though. These walls are making me claustrophobic. Oh, really? Whoa! Did you see those reeds move? There's something huge under there! You better get going! Well, I am going, Bentley. Bentley Bear. Get those jams, Bentley Bear. God damn it. Sucking my blood, are you? My blood? Yeah, actually, speaking of TV shows, the TV show that I've been watching recently, which I don't know really how, I just wanted to find a show on Netflix that I, to watch and just. Not really think about all that much what was going on. Just, you know, an easy watch. So I had to start to watch uh, Lucifer. And I'm actually surprisingly enjoying it. It's it's not that show. It's a little bit weird, admittedly, but it's it's for the most part pretty uh, pretty good. Come on. Get that battle. Get that battle. Woohoo! Oh, damn. Here comes some scary shit. It's a big dragon or snaky thing. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to do this. Oh, come on. Uh, I want to get the bottle. Ow. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to die, aren't I? This is. Oh, wait, I can't die in the water. Wait, I can for some reason. Well, alright. Screw it. I want to get the bottle. I don't want to have to play through the whole level again. Because this level is kind of long. So, it's a little annoying having to play it again. So, it's better just to sacrifice the 200 lives I have. Go. go, 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 why are there candles on these vine branch things, whoa, ah, don't, don't, don't you eat me, <laughs> don't, don't eat me please, <laughs> yay, we did it, what is that thing, snake? What do you call him? I don't know. I don't know what to call him. Kind of reminds me of Shadow Colossus. That's a game I haven't I played in ages. I had to overcome some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Try four, four, four. <laughs> wow, whoever made this combination is uh, kind of an idiot. And 44%, four, four, four. four. <laughs> Entry. Bruce O'Koof's computer hacking technique. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard information into your binocucom. Cool. He said duty. <laughs> he said duty. Probably isolate that. You can, you can probably isolate that audio. Take it out of context things that Bentley says in this game and in future games you could probably take a lot of things out of context and switch things around and make it, well, make it sound weird all right let's do the next level then we'll call that it for this video bam all right what level is this 
a grave undertaking. Is this the waterfall one? No, it's not. Ah, it's this level. Alright. Ah, a ghost. A A ghost. Sly, you'd better be on your guard here. My paranormal scanners show this place is really haunted. Yeah. It's really haunted. Yes, well, I saw that. There are ghosts flying out of every crevice. Now that was very interesting. When you smash that gravestone, the ghost stopped coming. It must be some kind of ghost generator. Maybe if you smash them all, you'd be safe. Ghost generator? So, come on. I forgot how annoying these things can be. Holy crap, 40 bottles in this level. These enemies are kind of annoying too, but just gotta be a little bit careful with them. Oh, I lost the lucky charm and I got another one straight back. Ah, damn it. I keep losing my, my golden lucky charm. It checks. Alright, I didn't miss out on a bottle, did I? I don't think I did, no. By the looks of it, no. Alright, let's... Gotta time this right. Alright, and we have ghosts, friends. How fun. Uh... quite interesting that there are so many people that do believe in ghosts. I'm not saying I don't believe in ghosts, I've just never really had, you know, anything that made me believe in them, you know? I think it's a lot of, well, most people that believe in ghosts have had, like, some sort of paranormal thing, I guess. Can't say I've had that happen to me. I'm not really big on all that scary stuff anyway. I don't mind, like, you know, creepy and scary stuff. I just really hate, like, cheap scary stuff. Like, jump scares. They're, that's such a cheap way to, to scare you. And it's just really annoying. I hate it when movies do that. Like, that aren't scary. They're just sort of like, uh, you know... Maybe like a thriller or an action film, and they just put in a jump scare for no real reason other than to scare the audience and make you all tense. Especially when you're in a good movie theater where the speakers are good and everything is top notch. It's, it comes as a big, of a sh well, big shock. It's not quite as shocking when you're watching it at home and you've got like a shitty, shitty TV speaker. Yeah. Right. Uh, having said that, I don't really have a shitty TV speaker. I've got like a sound bar thing, which is most of the time pretty good. It's a little bit weird how it sort of disconnects at times. Maybe it's just the way it was designed. I think it's made by um, LG. Most of the stuff they put out is pretty good. Although I am a big Samsung guy, they make some good stuff. Sponsored by Samsung. I wish. I love being sponsored by Samsung. I have a feeling Samsung aren't gonna want to sponsor a guy that plays video games and only has, what, five <laughs> subscribers? I don't know if they want to be generous. I'll gladly take their money. Give me all the money. <laughs> Alright. Very close to the end. Do the ghosts first before we move back below. Just sort of to get rid of them. There are some uh, cleverly hidden bottles in this level. I must say. Can we 
actually quite easy to miss if you're just rushing through. Alright, we got five more bottles and more ghosties. 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 Alright. I think. Is there bottles here? Yeah. The last two. The last four, rather. There we go. Press Easy. The to enter the vault code. What's the code? Okay, okay. This is kind of a guess, but try one, two, eight. One, two, eight. Damn it. <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm struggling with just putting in simple numbers. What do we have here? These are the blueprints to this Ruby's production facility. Cool. I'll pipe this information into your binocucom. Use it to find breakables and clues nearby. Not that we really need it, but I'll take it. Because, whatever. Uh, I'll take all the help I can get. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> God. Alright. Well, 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 well. Alright, I think that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, I think we finished the levels in this first area. I don't think there's another level here for us to do, but, uh, yeah, whatever. I guess we'll, uh, we'll continue this amazing adventure in, in this creepy-ass swamp, uh, next time. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.